The Knam MLA of North Shillong constituency Adelbert Nongrum had recently submitted a memorandum to the state government on the enhancement of age for the recruitment to government services. The MLA had also given a five days deadline to the state government to fulfill the particular demand which Nongrum feels is a necessity in as far as employment is concerned. Following the silence of the government on the issue, Adelbert Nongrum, along with members of the Knam Party, had resorted to agitation through a sit-in demonstration today, the 17th of January 2022, at the Malki football ground, Shillong. Speaking to reporters, North Shillong MLA informed that the party is staging the sit-in demonstration, which will end at 10 a.m. of the 22nd of January 2022 to boycott the Meghalaya Day celebrations on 21st January, which the party feels is of no significance as there are long pending issues that have not yet been resolved in the last 50 years since Meghalaya was granted statehood in 1971. Nongrum informed that the Knam party is demanding resolution to five important issues related to border dispute between Meghalaya and Assam, the reviewing of the outdated state reservation policy, the enhancement of upper age limit for recruitment to government services, the bifurcation of joint cadre between Assam and Meghalaya as far as civil services, are concerned and the relocation of sweepers colony to some other quarters as may be decided upon by the concerned authorities we are met my, I mean, I, uh, my chief minister meeting him personally nothing over my memorandum it's not my, my memorandum it's not our party memorandum but it is uh, our state memorandum especially for some issue which deal with the uh, youth of uh, our state so uh, the failure from the government, they did not turn up after I uh, put my uh, demand that uh, uh, like the five days I have uh, given time to the government that failing which I'll, uh, it will compel me to, uh, to come ahead to, uh, I mean to be uh, in this position where I am today to demonstrate in a sit, uh, sit on a demonstration till uh, till until uh, we uh, see the light of the day that uh, according to our issue that have put uh, forth before the government so like uh, issue which have uh, already spelled out uh, one uh, one of the issue which is uh, needed to uh, to uh, to to brought for uh, revisiting of a uh, uh, state reservation policy which is uh, uh, and uh, updated right from the time of inception of a state. Till date, it still remains the same, and the demography of population has been changed since that time till, uh, till date. This is one of the issues because it uh, really affects the efficiency of administration. Because we, w we would like to see the, uh, uh, I mean, the, our state, uh, we, uh, we would like to see that uh, our state will, will, uh, will grow. Uh, as we have uh, passing through many years and now yet to be celebrated with a 50th anniversary. So the second issue is enhancement of uh, upper age limit. This also is the need of the hour. It's a uh, kind of uh, giving a boon to our beloved youth, especially uh, the, the government of the day. If they really want to do it, if they have the sincere heart, they will surely uh, implement by enhancement the age uh, limit of our beloved youth as to give them a special consideration during this uh, affected uh, period of uh, COVID. So many of our youth, uh, we have seen that they are uh, frustrated and they are desperate. Uh, desperate. So, uh, I mean, uh, they are uh, uh, desperate and frustrated. So because of this uh, uh, issue, that's why it uh, made me to uh, compel that uh, I have to stick with my principle to declare that I will not be part of this uh, uh, celebration, 50th anniversary, because it is uh, uh, it is a right moment to uh, to us, our people, whether we are righteous to celebrate, to take part in the celebration. <coughs> Where as a state we don't have, uh, uh, we we cannot see the change, we uh, we uh, we cannot even uh, experience what what we are achieve as a state so the three points <clears throat> the third point 
creation of separate Meghalaya uh, between join uh, gather of Assam and Meghalaya. This is, uh, this is, uh, this is also a, a high time that we need to, uh, to bring a change by by forget the joint gather between Assam and Meghalaya. Because we have seen as experience, maybe this might be the uh, loopholes that we are facing by uh, our state government. That from time to time, we have been facing harassment, we have been facing encroachment. Maybe because of uh, not having our own state, uh, I mean a state uh, gather. So the Fourth point is a, uh, uh, it is a relocation of a, a super colony. This also has been a pending, a long pending issue and a long aspiration by the people of the state. Uh, we are so uh, much uh, <coughs> facing problem with uh, congestion, especially in the Shillong agglomeration. So this uh, area need to re relocate those uh, uh, people who are staying in that particular area shifting them or relocate them to respective government quarters because uh, we, uh, the government of the day we need to see the seriousness the sincerity and uh, the sincerity of uh, their day-to-day uh, -day performance like uh, from the government itself they can first uh, take necessary step by relocate those uh, own people who are working in different government department and then later on they may give uh, at the time, how uh, how they will uh, uh, evict those uh, illegal uh, who, uh, who are uh, residing in that particular area, uh, and this also is uh, one of the uh, is one of the uh, issue which has uh, which has lying pending for very long time. <coughs> the need of the hour that we need to see that that particular area need to turn to uh, uh, it need to turn to to uh, uh, implement the true infrastructure development to development and also a need to refine. This is the day of the hour which uh, we are going to celebrate as 50th anniversary. So the fifth uh, point, uh, resolution of state boundary issue. So my demand to the government, even though I'm part of the uh, part, part of the government, so what my demand is very genuine, it's very logical. It is not that I'm demand what not uh, uh, not in their hands. Everything, all these uh, issues, is lying uh, in their hands to resolve. It is not that we have to wait for the mercy of, uh, uh, I mean, from other part, maybe from outside the state or from uh, the central government. So this uh, border issue also has been pending right from the time of inception of the state. How we we are uh, accepting the state without a proper demarcation since that time. So till now it uh, still uh, lying pending and most of the people who are inhabiting <coughs> from, uh, from that particular area they are facing a <coughs> problem that, uh, like the harassment and we have seen that through violence that many uh, precious life has been lost. So we don't want to see this thing happening in the uh, near future. So what we need to see the light today, the government should take up seriously and sincere and sincerely to resolve this issue, maybe uh, six uh, areas they are promised to resolve. Well and good, I have to appreciate the government if it come up to, uh, into reality. But another six areas uh, which, uh, which yet to be resolved and not yet has been uh, uh, taken initiative. But what I, <coughs> what, uh, but what my suggestion to the government that they should immediately implement a true infrastructure so that these people who are staying in that uh, particular areas they should not depend on the other state because that also will be another loopholes so another point is uh, the government they should set up immediate uh, police outposts so that the, uh, the sense of security sense of belonging should be uh, <coughs> i mean should be in place